quick recap. Here's subject A, B, C, D, and E, before scores and after scores. Again, null hypothesis, mu D equals zero. Alternative hypothesis, mu D does not equal zero. So we're going to go to lists here. So we're going to go to stat and enter to edit. And then L1, go to the top of that and press clear to clear any data you have. And we're going to enter the data from L1. So 71, enter, 66, enter. 75, enter, 78, enter, 66, enter. Make sure you have five bits of data there. That works. So go to L2, scroll to the top of L2, and what we want to do is clear that just in case there's any stray data there. And then enter the scores for the after, which will be L2, so 75, enter, 75, enter, 73, enter, 81, enter, 78, enter. Then go to L3, go to the top of L3. L3 is going to be the difference between L1 and L2. So you can press clear just to be safe. Then go back up to the top of L3, make sure it's black highlighted, CIA style. So then L1 minus L2, we press second, one for L1, minus second, two for L2, and enter. These should be your numbers. Most importantly, quit to the home screen. Stat, tests, two for t-test. We're going to input it from data. So press enter to select that. And then scroll down. Your mu sub zero is zero, just like the purple here. Your list is going to be from L3, frequency is one. The mu is not equals to mu sub zero. Please make note of that. And then calculate it and press enter. Now notice the test stat is negative 2.134. That is our test stat. Now to find the critical value, we want to quit here. We're going to press second and then vars and then four for NVT. There is one minus half of the significance level. So that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.01 over 2, which is 1 minus 0 0.005, which, which gives us 0 0.995. And people ask, why are we doing this? Why are you divide by 2? Because it's a two-tailed test. Remember, when we have the alternative hypothesis is a does not equal, that means two-tailed test. So we divide the sig level by 2 here when we calculate the area. So 0.995 enter. Degrees of freedom, we have four because there are five subjects. So degrees of freedom is n minus one, which is four. Press enter a few times to calculate this. And then it gives us the critical value is 4.604. Remember, two tail tests, so it's plus or minus. Now for the conclusion, the test stat is within the range of critical values. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis.